Soon afterwards, Frodo came in and found Gandalf in the dark, deep in thought. Has he gone? Yes, he's gone at last. I wish... I mean... I think he really preferred slipping away quietly in the end. He, he left a packet for you. Uh, there it is. You'll, you'll find his will and all the other documents in there. You're the master of Bag End now, Frodo. And also, I fancy, you'll find a golden ring. The ring? Has he left me that? I wonder why. Still, it may be useful. Well, it may, and it may not. I shouldn't make use of it if I were you, but uh, keep it secret and uh, keep it safe. Oh, well. Now I'm going to bed. One by one, the guests rolled away in carriages. The night slowly passed. The sun rose and morning went on again. By midday, there was a large crowd at Bag End, uninvited but not unexpected. Frodo's reply to all inquiries was, Mr. Bilbo Baggins has gone away, as far as I know, for good. Well, just wait. Frodo invited some of the visitors inside, as Bilbo had left messages for them. Inside the hall, there was piled a large assortment of parcels and small articles of furniture. On every article, there was a label tied. There were several labels of this sort. <laughs> for Adelard took, for his very own from Bilbo, an umbrella. For Dora Baggins, in memory of a long correspondence with love from Bilbo, a waste paper basket. For Lobelia Sackville Baggins, an empty case for all the silver spoons she took before. Two sacks of potatoes for old Gaffer Gamgee. A dozen bottles of old vineyards for old Rory Brandybuck. And a uh, leather-bound folio. Frodo had a very trying time that afternoon. The road to Bag End was blocked with barrows and handcarts, and Frodo left his friend Mary Brandybuck to keep an eye on things. There has to be some order. Order. I've been waiting here, waiting. I demand to see Frodo. He is indisposed. Well, He's resting. Hiding, you mean? Anyway, we want to see him, and we mean to see him. Spoons, indeed. <laughs> After waiting sixty years, fiddlesticks. Aha! There you are. You still here? Only one thing is clear to me, and that is you are doing exceedingly well out of all this. Hmm. I insist on saying the will. And yes, so do I. I. By all means, there. There, let me see. Yes. Foiled oh, again. Uh, you uh, live to regret it, young fella. And you, Mary, you're no baggins. You're a brandy buck. That's right. How dare you. Lock up and don't open up to anyone, even if they bring a battering ram. Lobelia again, most likely. If you don't let me in, Frodo, I shall blow your door right down your hole and out through the hill. My dear Gandalf, oh, half a minute. Oh, there, come in, come in. Oh, I thought it was Lobelia. I nearly tried on Bilbo's ring. I, I, I long to disappear. Oh, don't do that. Do be careful of that ring, Frodo. In fact, it's about that that I've come to say a, a last word. Keep it safe, and keep it secret, and use it seldom, or not at all, at least not to cause talk. You're very mysterious. What are you afraid of? I'm not certain, so I'll say no more. I may be able to tell you something when I come back. Uh, I'm going off at once. Uh, so this is goodbye for the present. Some people are accusing us of a plot to get rid of Bilbo and get hold of his wealth. I'd give them Bag End and everything else if I could get Bilbo back. I wonder if I shall ever see him again.
So do I. And I wonder many other things. Well, look out for me. Especially at unlikely times. Goodbye.